<laughs> Hi guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome back to episode 3 of season 3 of Tiny Tips with Tiff where in this episode I want to share with you guys on how to give a bath in the NICU. So of course giving a bath for a baby is probably a easy or difficult task for some people, but doing in the NICU is even more challenging just because we have a lot of things we have to deal with. We have wires, sometimes an IV, and then of course, you know, trying to do multitasking things at the same time by changing out your linen and giving your patient a bath at the same time. So I thought I would share with you guys on some tips and tricks I have for those out there who are trying to learn on how to give a bath in the NICU especially, just because there's probably a lot going on. And so it's kind of hard to try to manage on what you should and shouldn't do with some of the things that you're gonna be dealing with. So I thought I would share with you guys some of my tips and tricks. So let me know down in the comments below what videos you also wanna see in this series. Hopefully this video is helpful for you and stay tuned. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I give a bath in the NICU. So these are some of the supplies that you'll be needing. I like to grab two of all the towels. So I grab two washcloths. I'll have two towels, the big towels. And then of course you're gonna need soap. So this is the one we usually use in the hospital. And then this is the basin that we typically do our baths in, in the NICU, depending on if the parents have their own. If not, we just use these. And then this is extremely optional. Sometimes I don't even use this, but here's a kidney basin and I'll share with you guys what I do with this one. So these are the supplies that you'll need. And then of course, another thing you wanna grab is just new fresh linen for your patient. So whether it be a new blanket or new onesie, make sure to grab new clothes for them as well. So these are some of the supplies that you'll need. I'm just gonna put that off to the side. So then I have my patient over here in her bed. So usually the first thing I do before I even start with anything is I like to grab the water because that usually takes so long and I don't want to wake up my patient and mess with them and not be fully ready. And that way, so it just will make everything a lot easier. So I usually will put water into both of these basins go into the sink, grab my water, and then I will put it on top of my scale. So I'm gonna be pretending that this side table that I have here is my patient scale, because a lot of times when I work night shift, I have to do the weights and the baths. And so having it on the scale just makes it so much easier because then you can weigh your patient and do the bath on there as well. So let's just pretend this side table is a scale, but let's say you don't need to weigh your patient that night or whatever, then you can just use a typical side table. But I'll usually leave all my supplies on the side table here and then usually what i'll do is i'll actually take my two washcloths and put it into my basin and that way i'm going to use it for the bath and i also like to put the soap in there as well because i typically will forget it so i have my warm water ready to go and i'm ready to give my patient the bath so typically the first thing i'll do is i will take my basin and a lot of times scales have a little shelf underneath or if you have a side table then put your basin off to the side so i'm just going to put it onto the side for now as well as my kidney basin and then what I'll do is I have my towels ready and I'll share with you guys why I have two of them. So of course, make sure to place a blanket on top of your patient scale so you can put your patient on there. So I'm going to be doing my assessment, everything like that. Make sure that when you do your assessment, we're gonna take off all the leads. So the leads are actually stuck on my patient so I can't take them off, but always make sure that when you give a bath, take off the leads. We're gonna give them new ones and then take off your pulse socks as well. And so typically what I'll do is the pulse locks I can reuse and just take off this sticker part and replace the sticker. Um, but with the leads, usually I will just change to a new one because a lot of times they don't even stick anyway. So I will change that out afterwards. And then of course, when you weigh your patient, make sure that um, you change their diaper completely. You want a fresh brand new diaper. And then you would weigh your patient and make sure to grab a diaper, zero out your scale, and then you weigh the patient first. And then usually what I'll do is while my patient is on the scale and right in front of me where I can visibly see my patient, I will actually change out the old linen. I will take the old one and I'm gonna put it off to the side and then I will take the new linen that I have and put that on the bed. And that way I have my bed ready to go when my patient is done with the bath, I can just put my patient onto the bed. So why I have two towels is because I take a towel and I actually cover my new linen with a towel. Obviously we don't wanna get our new fresh linen wet. And so when I'm done with my bath, I can just easily put my patient onto the bed. And once I'm done with this, I can just take the towel off. And the reason why I keep 
the old linen and I'll share with you guys because I actually put this back on top. Now that I'm done weighing my patient, of course, make sure to take off the diaper when you're going to be doing the bath. So take that off and then I'll put my patient back onto the bed and then I'll take the basin, put it onto my scale or my side table and then now I'm gonna start the bath. So what I do is I will grab my patient, have my kidney basin right here. I will take my patient and with the old linen, I actually will wrap them with their old linen just because now that it's old, I don't really care about getting it wet. And the reason why I do this is because it prevents the patient from slipping. So a lot of times patients get super slippery, especially when they're dunked in the water like this. So I actually will grab their old linen and that way it helps prevent them from slipping around. So now I have my two washcloths. I keep one inside the tub and one I keep in my kidney basin. And then what I do is the first technique when it comes to giving the bath is you actually want to wash their eyes first. So I'm gonna share with you guys here. When you do the bath for your patient, grab your washcloth. You take any corner of the towel, go in and wipe outward. And then you flip the towel to the opposite side and you do the same thing with the other eye. You go in and go out. And the reason why we do that is we want to, of course, keep the eyes as clean as possible. We don't want to spread any infection around or any crusty, anything like that around their eyes. So that's the cleanest way to do it. And then so when they're in the tub and we're giving them the bath, you wanna make sure to start with the eyes first. And then I do the rest of the face. So you can already notice and tell that I haven't been using any soap yet. We want to keep the face as clean as possible, just using warm water. So I'm just wiping off her face and make sure to always get underneath the chin as well. Of course, a lot of times patients drool or when they're eating, they get a lot of food, um, breast milk, milk under their chin. So make sure to clean that off as well. And then you do the hair next. So I like to put my washcloth back into the basin, get it a little bit wet. And then I kind of wring my patient's hair with some water just to get it a little bit wet. And then what I do is I grab the soap, squirt some on their head. And then this is where I love to get the parents involved. A lot of times they get really afraid to hold the baby. So I like to hold the baby while the parents kind of rub the soap into the baby's head. And then once they're done with that, I grab my washcloth, the one that I've been using, and just wring off the soap on their hair like that and try to get it as clean without any soap as much as possible. So now we've finished their head and now we move on to the rest of the body. So with the same washcloth that I've been using, I'm actually gonna grab the bottle of soap again and just squirt some on their body. And then I kind of just rub it in with my hands. You can also use the same washcloth just because we're going from clean to dirty. So at this point, this is probably gonna be the dirtiest part of your bath. And so we'll do the rest of their bodies. But usually I will just grab my hands and I'll just rub it on their hands, their armpits, get around all their arms, do their body, get their legs, do their genital area. And once you're done with that, I will hold onto my patient's chest and then I will flip them on their back here. I will grab the bottle of soap and then I will squirt some on their back and then rub it on their back as well, get their tish. And then, like I said, you could use the washcloth if you want to, but I personally just like rubbing it in. And then once you're done with that, this is where I like to grab the kidney basin. If I have one, it is not necessary to use this. Um, a lot of times it, the tub doesn't get really soapy. So doing this technique doesn't get the water super soapy that you can't use it to rinse off your patient. But if you do have a kidney basin, then yeah, you can definitely use this. And with the clean washcloth and the fresh water, this is where I will kind of wring off all the soap on my patient and do the front. And then I'll kind of flip them over to their back ring them off, kind of rub it and get them all nice and clean as much as possible. And then, yeah, since this is fresh water and clean water, a lot of times the soap is easy to clean off. And so a lot of times you don't really have to worry about the OG since it can get wet. So I don't really worry too much about it if it's inside of the tub, but yeah, pretty much they're done. And so what I'll do is I will kind of lift my patient, kind of let some of the water drain off, and then I will transfer my patient over to the bed and so once they're on the bed as you can see they're laying on the towel and the reason why i have that there is so that way i can just transfer my patient on over and it won't get their whole bed wet so you can use the towel that they're laying on if it's long enough to just um, dry them off or this is an optional thing you can have your second towel and you can also dry off your patient as well get them all nice and dry and once they're dry usually the first thing i do for all my patients is i put a diaper back on just because especially for my male babies, they love to pee around everywhere. So I like to put a 
diaper back on my patient and that way hopefully they don't pee anywhere and then of course usually the next thing is i will put on new stickers new leaves so i will put that on my patient i'll put a brand new pulse ox and i will put it on the other extremity that i was on so earlier it was on my left foot now i'm going to put it onto my right foot and put a brand new pulse ox there and then of course get them all nice and dry and if they are able to wear clothes you can put clothes on your patient and then what i'll do is uh, either if my parents are there with me or if i'm by myself i just lift my patient kind of take the towel off to one side and then just take it off the bed and then I just kind of usually will toss it on the floor and take it off the bed and then now that your patient is on brand new linen you have changed your linen as well so you kind of do everything at once and that way it makes it a lot easier for you and you're not having to fumble around and mess with everything this all becomes a very cohesive way to do all your baths weights and linen changes so hopefully this video was helpful for you guys on how to give a bath in the NICU let me know down in the comments below what other videos you want to see in this series and I'll see you guys in my next one bye Cards.